okay so let's take a look at the ubuntu installation first boot into ubuntu and i'm just trying out the live version first which will take me to the desktop and then from there i can run the installer so i'll just have to hit enter you can even go with ubuntu safe for graphic option safe graphic option now if we go to try or install ubuntu should take us through this boot screen right and it takes a bit of time usually to boot into and once it does it will directly show you the desktop it will load the panel on the left and at the top you can see activities and second there will be install ubuntu that will appear as you can see now it should also open one window for us to view here right now this should start the installer usually but i don't know what it is doing right now could be checking on the network i can check the panel here now if you take a look at the language can select the English and click next right. so I'm picking up the English which is generic and not some region specific English next click install Ubuntu right now you can also try but let's just use the install Ubuntu option after this click next then you have to pick the layout of your keyboard right now once you set all of these up you can click next and here i'm going to reduce the speed of my installation by saying that i do not want to connect to internet because if you do it will kind of fetch a lot of files from internet and takes a bit of time for entire installation experience so I will select I do not want to connect to internet just now select that and then click next now after this we will have to pick between normal minimal installation right also there are option to download the drivers third party software and media format so that it can play, play a variety of media files right click next with normal installation now here it will ask you to erase the disk and install ubuntu okay fair, fair enough we can choose this option click advanced features to see what is in there click that and click none click ok right so we are cho choosing all those options click next here you can pick the device you can give it a partitions and go ahead with those options like sda 1 2 and also ext4 option click install choose your time zone click next here i'm going to add my name then computer name right then add the password and then click next make sure to choose active directory if you want then the theme between light and dark now let's click next after picking this up right, I will stick with light now this should start the installer now this will take all the time it can to install just wait you can pause a bit and once installed it will tell you that you just need to restart and remove the USB or disk whatever option you are choosing so make sure to restart make sure to click on this twice because i noticed that it takes a bit of time to do the, just that uh, once it goes into restart mode you remove all the possible connected hardware and then you press the enter and it should take you to the login screen as you can see it is loading the 
genome experience first time so it will take a bit of time in some cases it may take 10 minutes or so but once loaded it should be showing you the login screen first add your password and then hit enter yeah I missed the light DM here because it was cool looking one now once it gets into the desktop mode we have to set few things up including the resolution I want to increase the resolution so that it can take up all the space right now as you can see this is the installed desktop it should show you few initial options like clicking on online accounts you can skip that then you can also close this whole uh, tracking thing click next and then you can also disable location and finally done now as you can see I will have to do the resolution thing I'm choosing 1920 by 1080 and pretty much that gives you this view I'm also installing the VMware tools so that I can clearly make use of all the options now here you see I have access to settings I can play around with some values so here you can see the night light option for your genome also I have wired connection there is this snap tool for taking screenshot looks pretty cool and as you can see it requires use of escape button so that it can come out now I want to remove this personalized tool so I will just search through it should be in Ubuntu desktop or something so let's check that now we can go to appearance it's not there so Ubuntu desktop and remove personal folder right okay so pretty much done most of the initial settings you can now go ahead and install the software you usually do um, if you are trying to upgrade from 20 to 04 I don't think this is the right version just wait a year more and next year you will have that 24.04 experience I think that will be worth the upgrade there are some people still on 20 04 they will upgrade to this edition and maybe then they will go for 24 so this is the install